Good morning, boys and girls. Hope you're doing great. What if you had an animal tail is our story we're going to read today. And I'm presenting this reading with permission from Scholastic. Look at that tail. Let's figure out what it is. What if one day you woke up, threw back the covers, and got out of bed? If something felt different. What if overnight you'd grown a wild animal's tail? Peacock. A male peacock has a tail with feathers up to six feet long that can fan across its back. The feathers have eye-like spots in beautiful colors like blue, green, and gold. This bird sheds and regrows its tail feathers each year just in time for the mating season, and the peacock uses them to win a female mate. The bigger the fantail and the more eye spots displayed, the better the peacock's chances of gaining a mate. Each peacock's tail has its own special pattern of eye spots with shimmering colors. So if you had a peacock's tail, fans would always flock to see you. A South African ground squirrel's long bushy tail is a built-in sun umbrella. The squirrel uses its tail for shade, since there are few trees or bushes in the dry places where it likes to live. This squirrel usually spends the day searching for seeds and small plants to eat. But in the summer, the temperature can get up to 114 degrees Fahrenheit. So the squirrel turns its back to the sun and curls its long tail over its head. Then it has its own personal shade. So when a South African ground squirrel sees a cobra, it waves its bushy tail and the snake leaves it alone. Oh my goodness, can you imagine? So if you had a South African ground squirrel's tail, you never need to bring an umbrella to the beach. Scorpion's tail and body have an armor coat called an echoskeleton. Its tail is also tipped with a deadly stinger. So right here, boys and girls. So when the scorpion is hunting, it uses its pinches or it flicks its tail to pierce its prey and then inject it with a liquid venom. The poison stops the prey from getting away and when the scorpion is attacked by a bigger predator such as a snake or bird the scorpion can use its painful sting to defend itself then the scorpion can escape baby scorpions called scorpions ride on their mother's back until they develop their armor coats and produce venom if you had a scorpion's tail, you'd never have to wait in line. Look at that. Those kids let her go ahead and get the ice cream first. Woo! A fresher shark's tail isn't just for swimming. It also makes this shark a super hunter. The top half of the fresher shark's tail is extra long. For some adults, this part of their tail can be as long as their body. So that means up to 20 feet. When it goes hunting, the thresher shark swims at a school of small fish. Then it whips its long tail over its head, striking some of the fish. Smack! Just like that, the stunned fish become dinner. A thresher shark swings its tail in just one third of a second. So that's just about as quick as human eye blinks. So if you had a thresher shark's tail, you'd be a home run hero. Look at that. Home run. Awesome. All the little baseball and softball players. Krista Hartman, please come to the office. Krista Hartman, please come to the office. Sorry, boys and girls. For that little interruption, let's continue. Giraffe. A giraffe's tail is a record holder, including the tail tuft. It can be up to eight feet long. That makes it the longest tail of a long... Okay, sorry guys. It, that makes the longest tail of any land mammal. The bottom half of the giraffe's tail is a long tuft of hair, but the top half is a muscle and separates its tail bones. These tail bones allow the tail to bend at each joint, which is where the bones meet. So a giraffe can swish its tail to swat away any biting bugs with its long tuft, tail tuft. So every giraffe has its own unique spot pattern all over its body, including its tail. So, if you had a giraffe's tail, 
who wouldn't need a brush to paint a masterpiece? Why? Because you could use your magnificent tail. Oh no, rattlesnakes. A rattlesnake has a built-in alarm system at the tip of its tail. When the snake shakes its tail, it makes a noisy rattle. That means, leave me alone. As a baby, a rattler has just a button at its tail tip. And so the rattle forms and grows longer as the rattlesnake gets older. So every time the snake grows and sheds its own skin, a new segment is exposed at the face of the tail, adding another part to the rattle. So each time it sheds its skin, another one of these comes through. And that's how the rattle gets longer. So when a rattlesnake rattles, it shakes its tail back and forth about 60 times a second. Wow. So if you had a rattlesnake's tail, you'd have the perfect instrument to play in the band. A beaver's tail is a broad, flat paddle covered with a leathery scales. An adult beaver's tail can be more than a foot long, about a third of the length of its body. In the water, a beaver's tail is the perfect rudder, steering the animal while it swims with its webbed back feet. So when a predator comes close, a beaver smacks its tail hard on the water surface to warn its family there's danger and hopefully scare away the predator. So on land, a beaver uses its strong, stiff tail as a prop while munching leaves or gnawing down trees. So if you had a beaver's tail, you'd make the biggest splash in the pool. Woo, that'd be awesome. A gecko is usually able to hide from predators like birds or snakes. But when it's spotted and a predator grabs a reptile by the tail, the gecko uses its best escape trip ever dropping off the end of its tail. The nerves in the tip of the tail make it wiggle, even though it's no longer on the gecko. So while the predator checks out the piece of lost tail, the gecko makes its getaway. So the gecko regrows its lost tail in less than a month and can drop it again if it needs to. So if you had a gecko's tail, no one could stop you from scoring a touchdown. Look. How awesome you could win the game. Spider monkey. A spider monkey can use its tail, long tail, to grab something and hold on. The monkey's tail helps it stay safe and it swings through the trees. Its tail muscles are so strong that the spider monkey can even dangle by just the end of its tail. It's a perfect safety line while climbing with all four feet or when there's no place to sit while the monkey is out on a limb picking fruit to eat. So baby spider monkey wraps its tail around its mother like a seatbelt when it rides on her back. So if you had a spider monkey's tail, you'd be a star trapeze performer. How cool is that? Crocodile's tail is nearly half its body length and it's packed with muscles. It sweeps its powerful tail side to side to propel itself forward through the water while its back feet steer. A crocodile can swim as fast as 18 miles per hour. This way, for a crocodile, speed means catching a fast fish dinner, or charging fast enough to surprise something much bigger, like a baby hippo. Aww. A crocodile can use its tail to launch out of the water and snatch birds or monkeys from overhanging tree branches. So, if you had a crocodile tail, you could swim your way to an Olympic gold. A red kangaroo uses its big tail like a fifth leg while hopping. To hop, the hang kangaroo leans forward until its front feet are touching the ground. Next, propped up by its tail, the kangaroo swings both of its hind feet ahead of its front legs. And when it springs forward, its big tail keeps it balanced, hopping this way. Red kangaroos have been clocked traveling fast as 40 miles per hour. So when a male red kangaroo is fighting for a mate, he balances on his tail and tiptoes to look bigger. So if you had a red kangaroo's tail, you'd have no trouble standing out on the dance floor. Look at those dance moves. 
A wild animal's tail could be fun for a while, but you don't need a tail to swat flies or scare off predators. You can get by without a tail to hang from or to help you swim faster than your dinner. And you're great on your own, even without a fan tail to show off. But if you could keep a wild animal tail for more than a day, what kind would be right for you? Luckily, you don't have to choose. You don't need a tail because you already have a tailbone that is right for your body. Your tailbone is exactly what you need to sit down or stand up straight. It's important for riding a bike or even sitting cross-legged on the floor. So, boys and girls, if you could have any animal's tail, whose would you choose? If you had a peacock's colorful tail, you'd be the center of attention in any room. If you had a beaver's wide tail, you would make the biggest splash at the pool. And if you had a rattlesnake's loud tail, everyone would know when to leave you alone. The animal kingdom has tons of amazing tails, but your tailbone is pretty great too. So, boys and girls, this was a pretty exciting book to learn about all these animals and their different tails. So what we'd like for you to do today is we would like for you to decide on what animal tail you would like to have. And so we want you to go ahead and draw a picture with lots of details. And then we want you to write some sentences about it. So like your first sentence could be what animal tail you chose. And then another sentence could be why. You can actually have two more sentences about why. So you could probably do about three sentences about which tail you chose and why. As always, have a great day, keep leaping, and check back for another story and some more fantastic lessons. Bye!